I broke an ultralight panfish rod on a walleye last summer, so in this video I'm going to salvage the parts that are still good, and I'll turn it into a short rod for ice fishing or for my kids to use in the summer. To get started, we'll use a hacksaw to cut off the rod just ahead of the handle. This is where we will slide the upper rod section into later on. Next, we'll cut the lowest guide off the upper section of the rod and pull the base of the guide out of the rod. I cut the bottom of the handle off because I don't need that much handle with a tiny ice rod anyway, and this gives me a big hole in the bottom to pour epoxy into. The upper section of the rod will slide in from the other side, and the epoxy will flow down through the handle to glue it all in place. If I poured the epoxy in right now, it could leak out the other end, so first I'll need to cut the upper section and plug it with epoxy. Then I can stick it into the lower section and seal that off with more epoxy. Once that's dry, I can pour some in from the bottom and let it flow right down and surround the base of the upper rod section, forming a tube of epoxy that should hold everything in place really securely and evenly. Before I get too far with the epoxy, I'm going to put the reel back on so I can make sure the guides are lined up correctly when I put the epoxy on and start sealing this up. Okay, the epoxy is on and it needs to cure for 15 minutes before I can move on to the next step. Then I can pour epoxy into the other end to really seal everything in place. In order to pour the epoxy into the bottom, I needed to invert the pole, so here's what I came up with. I have a bar clamp holding another bar clamp to my workbench, and now I can use the clamping end of the second clamp to hold the rod upside down. So now I can mix up some more epoxy and pour it right in. Well, I put a crappie jig on and hooked a fish on my first cast. Too bad it was a pike, and it took a quick run before I remembered to loosen the drag. The pike broke the rod again, this time in two places, just above the epoxy and also above the first guide. There was still about two feet left in the upper section though, so I drilled out the epoxy and repeated the repair process again. Then I asked my daughter to help me test it out on a local pond for some bluegills. She baited it up with a 164 ounce jig and a piece of worm, it casted surprisingly well for such a small rod, thanks to the light tip. She ended up catching a whole pile of bluegills and green sunfish and even a yellow bullhead, which was a new species for her. This pole used to be six feet long, but then we broke it on a walleye, and then it was three feet long, but then we broke it on a pike, and now it's two feet long and it works great for bluegills, and it didn't break yet, and I've caught 30 bluegills on it. This rod has now been used for two seasons of ice fishing and has caught hundreds of panfish and a few walleyes too. Believe it or not, it's actually my favorite ice fishing rod for panfish now. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.